Lou Hai, AAA held this event earlier today to warn parents and teens about the 100 deadliest days. And if you take a look behind me, they brought in this vehicle as an example. This was driven by an 18 year old in San Diego who made an unsafe lane change and totaled the car a few months ago. That teen is OK, but that's not always the case. We also spoke with a young man today who was a teenager when he caused a crash in Sacramento that killed two people. He shared his story openly and you'll hear from him in just a moment. First, this is video from the Automobile Club of Southern California showing crashes involving teens. AAA teamed up with Cambridge Mobile Telematics for today's event to prevent deaths and injuries this summer. They say accidents among teen drivers increased dramatically in the period between Memorial Day and Labor Day. We spoke with Walker Musso, who I mentioned. He was 18 years old when he caused a crash that killed a couple in Sacramento in 2015. He ended up in jail for their deaths and he says he'll live with guilt for the rest of his life. I made the selfish decision on the way back to travel at 130 miles an hour when a drunk driver pulled out in front of me and I collided with them, killing them on impact. Um, the pain and guilt that comes with all of that, I can't fathom what the victim's families felt. But I can speak for myself in saying that I have to live with that guilt and pain for the rest of my life. And if, if I can prevent someone else from doing it, that would be a huge win, just one. If I can get more, even better. The summer months are extremely dangerous for teen drivers because they have more freedom. They're spending more time with their friends. And unfortunately, they're engaging in dangerous driving behaviors like speeding, like distracted driving, and like not wearing their seatbelt. Take a look. AAA released this data today. Nationwide, more than 7,000 people died in teen driver related summertime crashes between 2012 and 2021. And in California alone, more than 200 people died in crashes involving a driver between the ages of 15 and 18 years old. And according to Cambridge Mobile Telematics data from 2020 through 2022, the time spent speeding increased about 5% during the summer months compared to the 30 days before and after and research also showed that phone interaction increased about 5% during the 100 deadliest days as well. Reporting live in downtown, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.